Hi guys, Albert Hatfield from 5950 Raps out of South Florida. Today we'll be going over the 190 Evo cast printable film with our PC190M cast laminate. The M stands for matte, so this overall finish will have a matte finish. So we're gonna start off first step by cleaning. The most important step on a vehicle wrap, in my opinion, is the cleaning. It's what skips, it's what we run into with issues. So cleaning, we're gonna start with our shag remove. The shag remove is an all around adhesive remover cleaner, it'll take any of the road grime off, oils, that kind of stuff. So start off with that, Get yourself a fresh rag, apply liberally, top down. This is not to be, instead of actually washing the vehicle, the vehicle needs to be clean, but this is after the vehicle's cleaned, you wanna go through it and completely wipe it down, getting any of the oils or residues off the vehicle. We're gonna move over to the shag clean the shag clean will help any remaining residue or anything that is left over from the shag remove to be gone. So you have a fresh, perfectly finished surface for the vehicle to, or for the wrap material to be applied to. All right, now that you've prepped your vehicle, everything's nice and clean. You grab your first panel, first panel, some shag magnets, the hex magnets from shag tools and you are ready to go. This is the first panel, I'll be applying it to the back of the vehicle. You always wanna start with the back panel going first, that way that your overlaps are aerodynamic. Take it. This is just a rough estimate of where it's being applied to, hence using magnets. Same as anything else, you're gonna to wanna to check your overall placement fit of this drive fit for the panel. Make sure you have full coverage on all sides so that you cover everything you need to. Check your proof. So that's basically where I want it. Panel number two. Voila. It's again relying on my shag magnets. The print does have a one inch overlap. So using each one of the print lines is, I'm using for my registration. Having the magnets is very handy in doing this. All right, so now that I know that the print is where I want it to be, I'll go ahead and move my second panel out of the way. Normally I'll leave it on the vehicle, just move it over a little bit and this panel is ready to be applied. Take the print film, pull it away from the backing. I saw it pull it down about a foot. Take my shag back slitter. Works in, for cutting between the vinyl and the paper, or you can also use it to cut away your excess paper without damaging the vehicle behind it. You can see the, the Take Heat Easy technology. You put it on, comes right back off. What this does is enables us to be able to move the panel again once the adhesive's on there until we apply heat to it and then it'll lock down in place. Now I can remove my magnets. Grab the liner and pull it down behind the print. Because of that technology, I'll go ahead and remove the entire liner. I don't have to worry about it sticking. All right, now that I've removed the liner from the vinyl, I will once again reposition it using our Take Heat Easy technology. It pops right back up. Place it so it's got some tension on it. Keeps it nice, firm, but not enough that I stretched it or deformed it in any way. All right, so that's overall basic application up to this point. I have the liner completely removed, my first panel set where I want it. 
I'll take my squeegee, removing any excess air. Comes to areas like this, I'll have to apply heat to actually get it to conform around that corner. So I'll skip that for right now and go ahead and apply my flat surfaces, defining my edges as I go. Remove my excess of the wheel well, leave myself some extra room. Before I apply the heat, I want to make sure that all my edges are nice and tight. So I avoid getting air gaps on the 90 degree corners. Take my hexus wrap glove and define all my edges. All this is, you're putting your thumb on the edge of whatever gap it is and running it back and forth. So you see that it has a start to the 45 right there. That keeps that air away from being at the center of the curve and also gives you an area that you know you need to cut. Next step is to conform the vinyl so that it matches the curves and recesses of the vehicle. By doing this, we need heat. We'll apply heat to this and conform the vinyl so that it molds to the shape of the vehicle. Then we'll go back over it and break the memory so that it stays forever in that shape. Show you how to do that. The biggest thing that installers run into is these side panels. It is a sharp 90 degree corner going in about three quarters of an inch to another 90 degree corner. So in able to do that, we don't wanna just push down and squish the vinyl in place. It won't stay, it'll pop back up. Avoid that, we're gonna apply heat to this panel, but we're gonna apply it about two inches above where we want it to stretch from. Wherever the heat's applied is where the vinyl will stretch from. So on this flat area that's in here, this area is completely flat. I'm gonna to wanna to apply heat up here to steal the vinyl so that I can push it into these recesses so that in all reality, there's no stress in those recessed areas. I'll show you how we do this. By applying heat above it, put our finger in, I'm doing about half of it now, but I want to define that edge completely and cleanly. Just move slowly, let the heat do its job. And it should take very little pressure to actually do this. The heat is allowing you to get that extra film you need to go in to the full recess. Now, next step is you have a bunch of trapped air between here, there, Just take a squeegee. That does it, ensures that there's no air trap that'll wanna travel to the corner. Continue with it. Make sure that you're pushing the air to an exit point. Another thing that people get stuck on, they'll push it and get trapped in the corner. Push it out to an exit. All right, now we got everything set, panels set in place. This is all conformed to the vehicle. We're gonna to wanna to go back and we're gonna to wanna to post heat our recessed edge here. The recessed edge needs to be brought to 194 degrees. Why? Because of the memory. We want this to think that it is the shape of this recess. By doing that, we need to destroy the memory. To do that, we need to get it to 194 degrees. Using a laser temperature gauge, this will tell us the surface temperature of the vehicle and the vinyl. By using a heat gun, we'll increase that temperature so that we can reach 194 degrees, which is our magic place. Surface of the vehicle now is 69 degrees. Aim the heat gun at it to start it. It's a little bit slower, so just take your time. Pull the heat gun away, laser it. I'm at 150. 180. 200. So now I will slowly walk that heat forward as I go along this edge, aiming the heat gun slightly forward to push that heat. Pull it away, check, 196, perfect. And you're gonna to wanna to walk that and continue it all the way through this until it is complete. By doing that, it'll be locked in place. You won't have those callbacks. I saw an edge cut my door here. That way, optically, me staying back looking at the vehicle, there's not a dip of me stretching it in place. Using the heat to define my edges with my finger, just go 
go along your cut. All right, now I'm ready for the second panel to be applied. I'll bring it over and find my registration using the shag magnets. By finding the registration, all I'm doing is bringing it till all the print lines up. You wanna continually check it throughout the full length of the print. Set your magnets in place, check it one last time. I'll bring my magnets down to the edge of the metal here. Pull my material back with my shag knife slitter and I'll pull it through with the Teflon, the black piece of it, in between the two layers, between the vinyl and the backing paper. Now I can pull away the top piece, set this in place, squeeze it down, just enough so that it's holding in place. Now I can remove my magnets. Grab the backing paper. And pull away the backing paper. You should always have fun while you're wrapping. Wrapping is an enjoyable sport. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that I was able to help you with any of your commercial application of the 190 Evo cast printable film from Hexus. We were able to show you how to do your recessed inlaid curves and to properly post heat your film to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Plus, always remember, wipe down your vehicles, clean them well, post heat everything. If you have any questions, anything that you need, check the link below. We'll take care.